Hey guys, welcome to Proud and Matter. In this video, I am going to give you a step by step breakdown of how I animated this eye transition scene from beginning to the end. Before moving on with the video, I would like to thank Imone Rosa. This video is inspired from one of her YouTube videos where she explained how she works on advanced animation projects. I will put the link of her channel and the video in the description. Do check it out. So as always, every idea starts with a rough sketch. Once I get the basic idea of the scene, I jumped into Illustrator and started adding the basic shapes to get the scene ready. At this stage, I am avoiding the color selection process so that I can only focus on the overall scene and the elements that I would need. Once I am happy with the result, I started adding colors. For the sunset scene, I added few gradient textures. So here are the three illustrations I would need for the transition. Then I separated the layers in Illustrator to prepare the files for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I started with the eye blink animation. So for the eye blink, I have simply animated the shape path for the eyelids. During the eye blink, I added some movement in the retina to make it more interesting and lively and also added another circular shapes inside the retina and added scale animation while it's blinking. Finally, I added an alpha track mat for the retina. Now after the animation is complete, I started working on the zoom in animation from the eye to the ocean scene. For the zoom in animation, I added null object and parented all the illustration layers with this null object. Then I added scale up animation on the null object from the eye scene to the retina of the eye to zoom in to the midpoint of the retina. In the retina composition, I used the retina layer as an alpha mat to mask out the C scene in the zoom in transition process. Now after the zoom in to the C scene, I added day to night scene transition and for that, I have added two layers for the sky with different green textures. One for the morning sky and another one for the afternoon sky. So in the day to afternoon transition process, I have decreased the opacity of the morning sky layer to make the afternoon sky visible slowly. And I also did the same thing for the sun as well. I put the different colors on the sun. One for the morning sun with bright colors and another one for the afternoon sun with red color. I also followed the same process for the sea water color as well. And that is how a day to afternoon transition animation is done. In this day to afternoon transition process, where the sun is coming down to the sea level, I added zoom out animation. For that, I simply added scale down animation on the main camera null layer and in the zoom out process in between, I added a match cut from the C to the stairs scene. To do a match cut properly, you need to maintain the constant momentum from the previous scene to the next scene. So here, when the sun is going down at the sea level, I made the sea level a bit curved. Then after the match cut, the ball starts bouncing down the stairs and in this match cut in the stairs scene, I added a little camera shake to make the match cut look continuous. Then I added a typical ball bounce animation for the ball coming down the stairs while it is zooming out in the camera. So for the camera movement again, I have just animated the main null object that I am using as a camera for the main composition. To maintain the perspective of the ball, I scaled it up while it is moving towards the camera and then again I added a zoom out transition from the stair scene to the eye and used an alpha mat to mask it out. So for the overall camera movement, I made sure that the camera is smooth throughout the transition and there isn't any abrupt start or stop. 
So specifically for this one, I used the value graph and made sure the graph is smooth throughout the animation to make a transition look smooth. Graphs are very important. So for the C scene, I added a little more detail in this frame. So for that, I added wave warp effect on the seawater. For the plants waving, I added pin tool and then converted it into bones with Dwick plugin and animated the rotation in a loop and added slight follow through by adjusting and offsetting the keyframes. Now, once the overall animation is complete, I added green texture throughout the scene. To add green texture on an element, you need to add a shape layer for the green texture shades and then add roughen edges over the shape. Then decrease the scale under roughen edges somewhere around 10 to 15 and change the edge to spiky. After that, increase the border value and the edge sharpness value. And here is our green texture. So I basically repeated the same process of adding green texture throughout the scene. Then I added an adjustment layer and added an effect called add green on the adjustment layer to add a green texture filter throughout the scene. And here is our final result that is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.